Hello and welcome to the next part of the Advanced Character Creation Tutorial Series and uh, this is where we left off. If you didn't see the previous video then click on the playlist which I'm hoping I've made and uh, we will be looking at how to shape this a little bit more for the first part and then we'll move on to extruding the arms and getting rid of some parts and then hopefully depending on the time extruding the bottom and things and then we'll start adding some more uh, features. So. Uh, to start off with, I'm just going to start moving it around a little bit. What we want to see on the front is it kind of coming in a bit more. as it Because you don't want it to be quite as straight as that. You want it to be kind of, since we've still got it mirrored, just select around that area there. Bring it, oh, don't want the back selected. Bring it on the y-axis in just a little bit. And let's take a look. Okay, just to even out a bit, I've got to bring this in, to bring it halfway between just so it's even. Because you kind of want this top part here, just like I know a really muscly guy, so uh, you want it to be kind of bigger there. And then bring the bottom part in a little bit closer. And I think I also kind of need... I mean, it does take a little bit of thinking as you're going along. You never get the same result twice. You just, um, I mean, not the exact same result. You're thinking about it as you go through. And as far as you do, you suddenly realise, you know, I should have done this. And it can include going back sometimes. So I think I'm going to bring that one on the y-axis in a little bit. If that's his chest coming through, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it is. And that means I need to bring that one in just a little bit. You can even start bringing, and you, oh yeah, you want it to be a little bit thinner on the sides here, that's a little bit too straight. So I think I'll grab those three. In fact, I'll grab the whole thing down, box select, or circle select with C, which actually reminds me I haven't quite turned on screencast keys yet. So there you go, you see what I'm doing now. And I'm just going to bring them on the, oops, on the G, oh, uh, it seems to have got rid of my, okay, G, X, bring it in a little bit, quite a bit, and then the next part, get rid of the top three, and bring that kind of in a little bit more, I'd say, and then dislike those top three and grab that outwards on the x-axis. So let's see that. It's looking okay. Uh, not amazing just yet. So I think that we're kind of going to need to bring, as soon as I stop accidentally dragging it, grab the three here and grab them on the x-axis. And bring that down a little bit. So you want that to kind of be the area around the arm, this whole bit here. So it's kind of already circular. Which also, now that we're looking at this arm part, we need to bring this whole area up on the z-axis. So I'm bringing that up quite a bit. And then I'm going to select these three here, and these three here. And I'm going to bring them down on the z-axis. So that they're not too far away. But part of the style of my character, if I go on to all the layers, it had quite big shoulders. I want big shoulders and big flares around here and things and kind of big gap between his feet and the coat. So that's kind of what I was going for. Obviously you don't have to follow this exactly. But I was kind of looking for big shoulders. So yeah. And this seems to be going through. So let's just grab that on the y-axis. So keep going with this technique. I mean I'm pretty sure you can see where it's going. I'm expecting you to follow it as I go along, um, just because you'll see how it's um, how I slowly get it into the right shape, and then I think I can grab this one here on the z-axis, oops, gz, and then I think I can just scale these on the y, just a tad, and maybe bring that one out a little bit. 
that's looking okay. And now that we have got this large area around here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the big shoulders. Uh, in fact, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start deleting some faces. So I'm going to go into face select mode. And I'm just going to select these four there. And delete faces. So X and then faces. And then I'm going to select those two. I think. And let's go for X faces. That should be okay. And then obviously these ones down here, so that's four. Just check that you've got more. And X faces. Okay, so that's kind of what you've got so far. That could be suitable for some basic clothing, but we're going to get a little better than that. So I'm going to take it back into vertex mode. And I'm just going to... Hmm, going to bring that on the x-axis. Oops. GX. Just bring that a little bit more that way. Bring it a little upwards. And uh, again, a little bit more on the x-axis. There. So I'm going to delete that face that I accidentally just made. And uh, that's looking okay. So we've got that. Got the shoulder part here. And that's looking okay. Maybe could use some rotating. If I keep, it's just because I'm using the Mac mouse that I keep accidentally dragging it away like that. It's just a little fault. Uh, just ignore it. And rotate that on the Y axis just a little bit. Maybe even grab it on the z-axis a little bit, so that it's definitely around the arm there. And then I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to start on the extrudes here. So extrude it out a little bit, maybe go into the front view, and then scale it down. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to rotate it on the y-axis, scale it on the x just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab it again, bring it into the right position, rotate it on the Y just so it's kind of in line with the arm, and extrude another time. Again, getting more in line with the arm, so rotating onto the Y axis and bringing it up just a tad. Now that we're in line here and we've, we've got to the joint here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude once, just a tiny bit until the middle of the joint. And then extrude it one more time there. That's just what I do, I don't know whether it's the proper technique, but um, it definitely helps. I mean, when I animate it, it doesn't deform uh, horribly, so it must work fine. I'm going to grab it a little bit more that way, just following the line for the arms. And keep going, I'm going, to, I'm going to start scaling them inwards. And if I take a look at the 3D view, I'm going to start grabbing it on the Y axis to bring it into the proper position. And if we look at my original, over this one. I did do the over top thing here so what I'm going to now go on to is looking at that. So let's ring loop that. Uh, you should know this from the previous tutorial series. I'm going to scale it on the x-axis, not the y, because I wanted it on the x-axis to be a little over the top. So that's how that I did that. And now we can even just look at it now like this. I'm just going to turn the merge limit up, which will get rid of this line here. Because right now, if I zoom all the way in, it's not connected. Merge limit up, and then suddenly we get rid of it. So that's okay. Check the back as well, make sure that's properly connected. And that's fine. So we can even just add a subdivision surface and see that's how it looks at the moment with the subdivide on it, and that doesn't look even that bad. I mean, if it's used in animation, that's fine, I'll just put a smooth modifier on it. You've got like a nice little jumper there, but that's not really what we're going for. So I'm going to get rid of the subdivision, get rid of the smooth shading, 
and I'm gonna look how far we into the time. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. I think I'll end it there. So we're gonna continue like that. And the next one, I think we're gonna sort out this head part. And then we should be able to get around to extruding the bottom part and sorting out the top and so on. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to see the next part. Bye.